For the first 10 years after the fall of the wall, Berlin was a gigantic building site. Right in the heart of the city, Berlin reinvented itself, for example, on Potsdamer Platz. And just a kilometer away in the government district. The Bundestag voted in 1991 to make Berlin the seat of government, a challenge not just for politicians, but also for architects. The Reichstag building set the ball rolling. The elegant, almost buoyant dome directly above the main chamber was designed by British architect Sir Norman Foster. The building was inaugurated in 1999. It allows people to experience living democracy up close. Where else in the world could everyone walk through this entrance behind me together with the politicians to rise to a public plaza which occupies the entire roof, to look into the main chamber of parliament itself, to have such close contact? Visitors can watch parliamentarians at work from the viewing galleries. And Norman Foster's glass cupola soon became one of the capital's top attractions. It's wonderful. The view is fabulous and I'm proud to live in this city. It's a successful blend of old and new. The new chancellery is nearby. It is the nerve center of governmental power. It's a building that allows for grand entrances, but is marked with composure and transparency. The offices are flooded with light. The Chancellor's is no exception. She has a clear view of the Parliament building from her desk. And those who want to can get right up close to the Chancellor to look, to marvel, and also to demonstrate. 10,000 visitors daily show that Germans have embraced their new government district. And those who've seen enough of politics can simply continue their stroll, back to Potsdamer Platz, for example.